Hi everyone, I'm just going to go through some basics from Chinese Wushu and we're going to concentrate on long fist among the many styles that there are in Chinese Wushu so the first thing I'm going to show you is the hand positions so there are three hand positions in long fist uh, long fist, uh, the Chinese name is Chang Chuan Chang meaning long and Chuan meaning fist which means also style or boxing so um, you have the fist and they have different terms for the different areas of the fist so this is the fist eye this is the fist face eh, sorry fist back and the fist face and the hammer so there's four fist eye or fist wheel um, fist face, fist back, fist hammer and generally that's used for punching or blocking and then the next one would be the open, open palm which is used also for blocking um, yeah, blocking here, here, sometimes out this way, here. So various uh, techniques that that can actually be a strike. In fact, most Chinese boxing is all strikes. There's not really anything that's seen as a block. If it's a block, it's a block as a strike. So. Um, and the third one would be the um, the hook hook palm, which is like that, but generally is used in in these sorts of positions. So sometimes you, you get you open the range of the shoulder up to to give you this higher uh, lift on the hook. So they they basic hand positions. Now with long fist, generally um, it's seen as a like a a full length. Hence the name, long fist. It, it's really a, a long reaching style, if you like. So that's on the hand positions in relation to the name of the style. So. For example, um, when you do punch, you are punching out in a in a locked locked arm position. That's that's the characteristic of the style as to whether it's correct uh, in regards to a punching technique. It, it it's not a part of the character to take that into consideration. So so it's. It's a it's a long style, and you're using the the waist there to give you that long reach. So this punch, you know, I can add another. I can add like a further length from from there where I'm just straight, or even with a hip twist, but with a waist extension. Or always waist extension in wushu. Uh, with Chang Tran. So you're going to get like so much extra. And uh, it's more for the, well, it's as much for the aesthetics as, as for the, the power release. Because a lot of Chinese wushu is uh, the power explodes from, the, from, well, through you from the floor. So it's. <coughs> so it's uh, so, uh, so you're using that. Even, even sometimes. The, in a practice like you raise up the fist so you're literally pushing using the yin and yang theory you see that that's the essence of all Chinese martial arts and Chang Chuan long fist is in, in you know it's in the, that theorem so so you're pushing down you're pushing up you're pushing out and you're pulling in 
So that gives you that long, long reach, long fist, and um, and it, it complements the 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 speed or the look of the speed, you know, with the power, which brings you to then to uh, the 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 spirit in the eye, you know, you got to have a bang, like a long vision. So, so when you when you just relaxed and this would be like a ready position and then so it's all like a laser ready to uh, to pounce. So a lot of the Chinese martial arts is based around uh, animal characteristics. And they have sayings like um, hot like a magpie or uh, fierce as a tiger, you know, these type of natural phenomena that, that they imitate into the into the styles of the of the art. So it was really cool like that. Um, so then then you've got the um, the stances, so so you've got punches. But if you can do it from this position, so I get that hip twist. Here, sorry, waist, but rather. So I'm using all this power from the back muscles. And getting that, you know, extra reach then. This one, or even with a hip twist, it's nothing compared to that hip generating the power through the waist, everything waist power. So yeah, then you've got the strikes, you can do stepping in. So you'd always like to follow these sleek lines. Yin, yang, yin, yang. So, more upright actually, I, I struggle getting that snap. Because a lot of it's like a whip, you know, a whip has that like curved shape, so it's uh, very whippy. And it's always a uh, Expel from nothing, hold, there's an element of a hold, and then ba ba ba, continue. So, into the uh, stances, you have bow stance. So, just observe that the back of the heel is on the ground, and there's, you know, it's a good strong leg. And then on the front, you're not bending over like this, but there's a direction and you've got a 90, so you're nice and, you know, stable to execute. So that's bow stance, really a common stance. And you've got the horse stance. Which would be the uh, square box style stance. Strong there, strong legs. Then the next sort of stance would be the crouching stance. I haven't really warmed up, so it's a bit, a bit crap. See the hook hand and the guards above. So that's a that's a that's a low stance. Then you've got the sitting sitting.